Good morning. Welcome back. I've had a number of uh, questions about how I power my planer. Well, as you can see, my shop's way out here in the country. That's the uh, power lines coming to my building. And uh, there's my lonely transformer up there. If you're familiar with three phase, uh, most of the time there would be three transformers up there and two more lines coming into the property. But the closest three phase line is about a half a mile and it's just really expensive to get that run. So I rely on uh, rotary phase converters. Power comes down those poles and those aluminum uh, conduits. In fact, uh, an interesting note is you can see at the very top of that aluminum, they've come recently and added three feet of conduit to raise the weather head closer to the uh, transformers. I think that they were having anxiety issues about wind whipping those leads around and starting a fire is in California and I think that's what made them change all of the transformers uh, to shorten up those lines where they can't blow around in a wind. It's a good idea but it must have cost a fortune. From there the power comes into uh, an underground to this pedestal and then into a uh, breaker box and then underground on into my shop. Over here is a uh, doghouse. It is the home of my 20 horsepower rotary phase converter motor. It lives out here in this doghouse because it's a lot quieter. Um, it feeds in through the building like that. And I'll run you inside and show you where it comes out. All right, we're coming back into the shop now uh, while I'm going by it. Here is another phase converter. This was my original one. It is a 10 horsepower made by Phasecraft, which I don't believe the man's in business anymore. But that little box right there controls my 10 horsepower uh, rotor converter. And they come with the same standard buttons on top. And for this one, it goes up through the ceiling and up on the mezzanine there is a 10 horsepower motor that, well, let's climb the stairs a little bit. Pardon the mess, we're cleaning up around here. Moving all my woodworking equipment upstairs along with that sandblaster. That is a rotary 10 horsepower three-phase motor and it sits there and spins when you turn the button and converts the single phase to three phase by making the third leg. Over uh, in that corner is where all of the uh, the line comes in for the feed line to the motor outside. Runs along the top and then goes down above that door. 90% of the time I use the 10 horsepower just because it's cheaper to run. And it runs a grinder, a surface grinder, and a Bridgeport mill in that little room. Runs the uh, big saw here. Runs that grinder. Runs that axles and lathe. And it will be running this... Uh, uh, Brown and Sharp number 13 tool and grinder as soon as I uh, finish hooking up the transformer. The power 
from outside comes down this wall in that conduit and goes to a switch, refuses to protect the motor, and into the spacecraft box. The 220 single bolt comes in, hooks into the phase craft, sends the power line out to the motor, the uh, capacitors and everything start that up, the motor generates the third leg and it all comes back and feeds into this three phase panel where I have a 70 amp breaker. follows the wall and goes into the planer right here. And it just hooks into some uh, mechanical switches inside. So that one basically runs the planer by itself. The 10 horsepower comes all the way over here. And it used to power uh, an old Boss, uh, Boss 5 Bridgeport mill. And uh, horizontal uh, brown and sharp heavy and uh, a jig bore but since I replaced it with that one uh, all those three machines have gone by the wayside the one problem I have is I only have 230 volt three phase this machine and another that I sold before um, I'm putting a new belt on it here I need the power to run the belt. Uh, this machine uses four, I think 460, and so it uses this converter to take the 220 and go to 440, 460, or vice versa. You can run it the other way and lower uh, 220 or 4, 460 to 220. I've almost got it completely wired up. I just need to put a piece of conduit through here to this box. Got fuses in there. You can turn this machine off close if you need to work on it. The bridge port, I lucked out. The bridge port has a large control cabinet back here. Let me get my way through here. I'll tell you what, I'll be right back after opening it up. Well, I don't know how much you can see. This is opened up. Power comes down through a panel here and into the unit where uh, the fuses are. This unit is a Bridgeport uh, 22 I believe and its claim to fame is it can run off single phase power if you look at the diagrams everything on this whole unit with the exception of the spindle motor runs off single phase so by rerouting one single wire to move part of the uh, software or control pumps over to one leg of the single phase and then using the single phase to run the very speed here it works and works well my problem is is most cnc machines don't work very well on manufactured three phase so by just pure blind luck, this machine was able to go to single phase with no problem. The way my uh, phase converter work is, you know, they make different ways of starting them. Uh, some people use a rope, some people use uh, a, a pony motor and then throw the belt off at the end when the, the main motor starts uh, up to speed. Uh, these are so simple, it's unbelievable. Off, on. 
and now I have three phase running. Three phases are now off. Anyway, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and we'll I'll try my best to help you with the answer.